investigations, no? Yeah, well, this is still very much an evolving investigation. As you can see behind me, police lights are still going as investigators comb the crime scene at Nome Park. We spoke with neighbors and with police on what they know so far. They were all just hanging out and I heard the shots start firing. Henry Martinez lives across the street from Nome Park where six teenagers were shot on Monday afternoon. It must have been like, you know, anywhere from like 30 to 50 shots. Dozens of shots fired in a matter of minutes. I'm a little shook about this. I mean, it's scary hearing that many, that many gunshots going off right in front of your house. Police were on the scene shortly after. So we're going to go down that way. If you guys don't mind. About an hour and a half later, they expanded the original scene after bullet casings were found about a block away near media vehicles. My understanding is it was a drive by shooting as well as there may have been people on foot. Police say six teenagers between the ages of 14 and 18 were taken to a nearby hospital. All are expected to survive. I can tell you when I got the call, my heart dropped. I think as many as, as most of you felt the exact same way and I think enough is enough and I think we need to come together as a community. A community roiling after a week end of bloodshed. This is a public health crisis. This is not all on law enforcement. We need to get out through to our kids and figure out a way to stop this. And as I said, this is still an ongoing investigation. Police are asking the Aurora community for help in this investigation. They're offering up to $2,000 for information relating to the shooting that happened earlier today. I'm going to toss it over to our Liz Gilardi, who is outside of Aurora Central High School, where parents had to wait for hours to reunite with their kids. Liz. And Sloan, we're outside the high school. It is right across the street from the park where the shooting took place, and that's why school resource officers were the first to respond to this as frantic parents rushed to pick up their kids. Like this is just too much. Across the street from Aurora Central High School, parents could see this park as they watch police respond to a shooting involving six students. It's getting ridiculous. It's time for us people to stand up for one another and get these guns out of the hands of these children. These are kids. They should not even have guns. Where are they getting these guns from? Why are these parents not checking up on their kids? Aurora's police chief confirmed all six shooting victims are students at the school. But this is starting to get out of hand. Yvette Mitchell is just plain fed up with the violence. She said she heard about the shooting on the news and rushed over to pick up her ninth grader. We literally can't go in there and get our kids, even though it was at the park. The school was secured and parents couldn't get in, adding to the frustration and worry. They told us that she's okay, that she's um, in lockdown. I just want to see her. Yvette says tonight she's thinking about the students, their families, and the school community. It's just ridiculous. I just pray and hope that whoever got shot, I just pray and hope it's not bad. And the school tonight thanking those resource officers who stepped in. They also say that they will have mental health support available for students. Reporting live, I'm Liz Gilardi.